In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the Auto Dynamic Delta Hedging tool from Greeks Live to automatically delta hedge option positions on Derivit. We'll see the option trade executions, the delta hedge tool setup, and the futures trades made by the tool to hedge our deltas. Dynamic delta hedging is achieved using futures to either partially or fully hedge the delta of option positions. This can be useful for traders who want to focus on trading volatility and therefore want to reduce the effect of price direction on their trade. The Auto DDH tool can also be useful for managing risk by making sure the delta of the portfolio doesn't breach a certain level without triggering an adjustment. We're going to start with 0.25 Bitcoin in a sub account on Deribit. We're going to short a call and a put initially and then use the delta hedger to keep our delta relatively close to zero. By doing this, the profit or loss that is made will depend less on the direction of price movements and more on the realized volatility over the life of the trade compared to the implied volatility that we sell the options at. First, let's take a quick look at the tool on Greeks Live. In order for this tool to work in your Deribit account, you will first need to link Greeks Live to your Deribit account. Greeks Live guides you through this process on the initial setup and it only takes a few minutes. If you get stuck, they do have guides which are linked to from their Twitter account. At the moment, I'm connected to my Deribit sub account named Falcon, and you can link multiple accounts if you need to. The Delta Hedging tool is in the Advanced Tools section in the top left menu on Greeks Live. This is the setting page for the tool. I'll just give a very brief overview of the settings, and then we'll go and execute some trades. We're going to use the Pro version, as it has a few extra settings that are useful. Pro just refers to it having more settings, the tool is still free. On the left we can select which futures contract will be used to hedge our deltas, and we can select a different future for longs and shorts if we prefer, although for now we will simply use the perpetual for both. We can decide whether we want to execute our hedging trades as a maker or taker. A taker will mean our orders are filled more quickly, but a maker order will have lower fees. We will be using maker orders for now. The split threshold allows the hedging orders to be split into multiple orders. This would be particularly useful if you think your orders are likely to be large relative to the liquidity. On the right we can select the settings for our target delta, which will be zero as we want to stay relatively close to delta neutral. We can also use the delta thresholds to choose how large we will let our deltas get in either direction. With the current setting, we will let our deltas move plus or minus 0 0.02 before the delta hedging tool will make an adjustment via the futures. We can also choose how much of the delta will be hedged once this threshold is breached. Underneath we have a price chart and table, which will both show our delta hedge trades once we have some. Time to play some trades. As we will be selling both a put and a call, which will result in deltas of opposite signs, we will wait until we have executed both trades before turning the delta hedging tool on, otherwise it will trigger unnecessary trades in opposing directions. First, we will sell the call in the 10th of November expiry. We'll be going for roughly a 30 delta, which is the $36,000 strike in this example. We can see in the order book that there is a bit of a gap between the best bid and best ask, so we might as well try to get filled in the middle, rather than selling straight into the bid. If we can't get filled in the middle, we can always sell into the bid afterwards. So let's enter a price of 0 0.009 BTC, and for now we will keep the position sizes small at 0 0.1. Once we confirm the details, we send the order, and it is immediately filled at our chosen price. Clearly it was well worth trying to get filled in the middle this time. We're now short a 30 delta call, so let's look for something close to a 30 delta put. The volatility is a little lower on the put side, so the premium available on this expiry is a little low. Let's look at the next weekly expiry instead to see if we can get a little better value. On the 17th of November expiry, we can get a little closer to 50 IV for selling the 33,500 put, which is around a 27 delta. Again, there is a gap between the bid and ask, so let's try and get filled at a price of 0 0.014, again with a quantity of 0 0.1. This order is also filled immediately, so we got an improvement over selling into the bid with both of our trades. This won't always happen, and indeed there won't always be a large enough gap between the bid and ask to even try getting filled in the middle, but if it's possible, it's always worth a try, particularly if you're not in a rush. 
We've now collected a total of 0.0023 Bitcoin in premium for selling the put and call. Remember, our quantities were 0.1, so we received 0.1 multiplied by the price we sold them for. Even if the underlying price stays between the strikes of our put and call, our delta hedge will likely cost us something. So we shouldn't expect to keep the full amount of premium we collected. What we gain for this cost, though, is less risk if the price runs hard in one direction. We have opened the desired option positions, so it's time to turn on the Auto DDH tool. We will leave the settings we chose earlier and simply click Save and Run to turn it on. The notifications let us know that this was successful, and we can see it running at the top of the screen. You will notice that no trades have happened yet in the futures, so despite being turned on, the Delta Hedging tool hasn't actually done anything yet. This is because the position we entered starts off as close to delta neutral, so there is nothing to hedge yet. However, we also set the hedge thresholds to 0.02, which sounds small, but given that our position sizes are only 0.1 at the moment, this may result in our hedging trades being done too infrequently. So let's reduce the thresholds to 0.01. To do this, we can edit the values of each threshold and then click Save. Delta hedging will now occur when our delta breaches the thresholds of plus or minus 0.01. We now have a relatively simple option portfolio. We are short a call in the 10th of November expiry, short a put in the 17th of November expiry, and we will have a delta hedge in the perpetual. Our delta hedge will be managed automatically by the Greeks Live Auto DDH tool, which we have calibrated to our needs. We are only short options, so we are short volatility. As we would expect, this means we have a negative vega and positive theta. The delta of our portfolio is close to zero, and will be kept there by our dynamic delta hedging, so we are not too concerned with the direction of any small price movements. As we are short vol though, we would prefer if the price moved as little as possible, as this will keep our hedging costs to a minimum and result in us keeping as much of the premium we collected for the options as possible. We rejoin the account here after the first delta hedging trade has been executed by the Auto DDH tool. We can now see in the positions table our short options that we had before, and a new short position in the perpetual. Notice how the combination of all three of these positions results in a delta of roughly zero. Just a quick note. As we're using the Coinbase setting in the Auto DDH tool, I should have checked the net transaction delta box in the positions table for accuracy. But thankfully for this example, it doesn't actually make much difference. Net transaction delta just takes into account the fact that these options are inverse, meaning the premium is collected in Bitcoin itself rather than dollars. If we look at the delta hedging tool page, we can see that the short trade is now listed at the bottom and that the tool has been running for 13 hours. The delta total is also shown, so we can see how close the current delta is to the thresholds we have set. This 4 hour chart of the price shows us the reason for the change in our delta that required a delta hedge trade. The price of Bitcoin has fallen, resulting in a more positive delta from our combination of options. Once our threshold of 0.01 .01 was breached, the Auto DDH tool sold the perpetual with a size that got our delta back to zero. Although the Bitcoin price has moved, the combination of both of our options has also lost some of its value, so the portfolio overall currently has a small unrealized profit. With everything working as intended, we will leave it as it is and check up on it again soon. We rejoin the action here about two days later, and the Bitcoin chart is not looking how we would want given that we are short options. The price of Bitcoin has increased significantly, and has even blown right through our short call strike of 36,000. Let's see how our small portfolio is doing. Unsurprisingly, the short call is making a considerable loss, but the short put is doing okay. The delta hedging tool has thankfully done its job by buying the perpetual. By opening a long position in the perpetual, the tool has hedged the negative deltas the options were picking up as the price of Bitcoin increased. This, combined with some time passing, has actually resulted in the portfolio overall still having a small unrealized profit. If we take a look at the delta hedging tool, we can see how active it has been keeping our delta close to zero. Each time the delta of our portfolio breached one of the thresholds, the delta hedge on the perpetual was adjusted to bring it back to our target delta of zero. 
The trades can be seen in the table at the bottom of the page, but also on the chart. This chart shows the index price of Bitcoin, as well as the location and direction of each of the delta hedge adjustments. We will now leave the account again and wait for further developments. We come back to the account now just a few hours later, and Bitcoin has continued its rally, blowing way past our short call strike of $36,000. Looking at the account, you may notice the absence of the short call, and that's because it was closed just minutes previously. I didn't manage to record the execution because it was via a limit order I had left in the order book, but it's only just executed so it's easy to show what happened. If we go to the trade history, we can see that I bought this option back at 0% implied volatility, which basically means it was bought back for only its intrinsic value, without paying any extrinsic value. The reason I even tried to get a fill at this favourable price is that I just happened to see a few other trades get filled there on this option. We can see those in the recent trades list. A few trades were executed at 0% implied volatility at about 17 minutes past 3. The last trade at 25 past 3 was our order getting filled. Prices were moving around a bit, so to place the order for this, I used the advanced order form and placed the order at 1% implied volatility. By using these order settings, the order will be adjusted to be very close to the intrinsic value every few seconds. There is a risk of getting picked off using this technique if price moves very quickly in the wrong direction, but in this instance, it resulted in exactly the fill we wanted. As soon as the short call was closed, this of course changed our delta quite dramatically. We can see on Greeks Live that the hedging tool then sold the perpetual to rebalance our delta. As closing the short call, which was deep in the money, changed our delta a lot quite suddenly, the delta hedge adjustment was also much larger than the previous adjustments. With $3,170 being sold relative to the previous adjustments of around $400. We can see from our equity that we are now very slightly below our starting amount of 0.25 Bitcoin. This is not too surprising though, because we were short volatility and the underlying price had a large move that went right through one of our short strikes. The Delta Hedger did its job throughout though, and made sure that we didn't lose too much due to the extra deltas our options picked up along the way. It's important to remember that while Delta Hedging is extremely useful and opens up a very different style of trading, it isn't some magic wand that will stop us experiencing losses. If we are short vol and vol subsequently increases, we are going to have losses, at least in the short term. Similarly, if we are long vol and price barely moves, we will still have losses even if we delta hedge. If you were going to program your own delta hedger, you would possibly add a few other parameters to improve the performance and customizability of your delta hedges. However, that would also require development resources and a server or cloud service to run the code from. The Greeks Live Auto Dynamic Delta Hedging tool offers an extremely easy to use tool that is ready to use in just a few minutes when you connect it to your Deribit account. I would highly recommend trying it out on a small position like we have done here to see for yourself how useful it is. I will turn this into a series of videos where we can track the portfolio and make adjustments. For now then, we will leave the existing position in the account, and add to it next time. In the positions table, we can see that what remains are the short put, and the delta hedge short in the perpetual. Next time we will trade some more options, and see how the delta hedge portfolio performs. And we will also show what adjustments we might want to make to the delta hedging tool as we increase the size of the portfolio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.